Hello, Christian McDonald here from the PFSense software development team here at NetGate. Powerful new capabilities to system startup and system update are coming in the next release of PFSense Plus version 2403. These new capabilities to ZFS boot environments will make the update process much faster and more reliable. Now you can be at ease knowing that your network is functioning and secure even during the update process. But first, let's talk a little bit about PFSense Plus. PFSense is the world's most trusted open source firewall, router, and VPN solution for network edge and cloud environments. With over 10 million installations across all seven continents, PFSense can serve deployments ranging from the smallest home labs to the largest federal governments. PFSense Plus offers top-of-the-line security at 20 to 30% lower total cost of ownership when compared to more traditional networking solutions, all while offering premium functionality for businesses looking to keep their network secure no matter the circumstances. With over two decades of continued development and an all-holiday 24-7 global support, PFSense Plus offers security and peace of mind when it comes to your network. Now let's take a look at the new ZFS boot environment capabilities coming in PFSense Plus version 2403. Until 2403, PFSense software was updated by first downloading and caching all packages needed for the update while the system had WAN connectivity. Then these packages were installed during the first reboot. Now this approach is generally more reliable as the system is updated before services are ever started. However, a major drawback is that this process is slow particularly on lower-end hardware such as the NetGate 1100 and 2100. In this process, expensive disk operations of package extraction and installation were deferred to the first reboot, which meant that the system must remain offline for a significant period of time, much longer than it would be otherwise during a normal system reboot. This leaves your network offline during the update process, which means no traffic is being routed through your network an inconvenience for administrators who have to schedule updates long after hours during quiet time. Previously in PFSense Plus, a system update simply could not be performed without also subsequently performing a system update. With the new ZFS boot environments capabilities in PFSense Plus version 2403, administrators can now update the system and then reboot at a time that's more convenient for them. Now this is an opt-in feature that administrators can utilize if they prefer to have more flexibility when updating their PFSense Plus system. In version 2403, we are harnessing the power of our past work to integrate the ZFS file system and boot environments in PFSense Plus. Now this new approach to system update can be performed in three easy steps. First, we create and mount a clone of the currently running boot environment, leaving the current boot environment untouched. Next, we direct the package manager to update the packages in this offline cloned boot environment. If the update was successful, we mark this cloned boot environment as being a temporary boot environment that PFSense will boot into only once during the next reboot. And finally, we reboot the system. It's important to note that all of this is taking place while the system is online and still serving clients. Not only are you getting the latest and greatest version of PFSense Plus software, but your network remains stable and secure while updating with minimal downtime. If the update fails, the system will automatically choose the next best boot environment and reboot into that working environment. A boot verification mechanism is now implemented at system startup, which automates this fallback and recovery of the system in the event of boot failure. This mechanism is utilized every time the system boots. When the system startup procedure is executed, a watchdog timer is started that simply reboots the system after a fixed period of time. A significant portion of the failures that we see in the field are the result of the system hanging during startup. Now, if the system hangs for any reason, the system will automatically choose the next best boot environment and try again, all without any user intervention. This process can continue automatically until all available boot environments have been checked. Administrators can also opt in to manually verify boot environments. This allows the administrator to protect their network from a myriad of issues. For example, let's say an administrator makes a change that breaks the system, like entering a wrong setting. The system will start and will automatically verify the boot environment. However, if the administrator has opted in to manually verify the boot environment, the system will not automatically verify the boot environment, but instead start a timer that simply waits for the administrator to log in to manually verify the boot environment. 
If the administrator does not log in before the timer reaches zero, the system will automatically reboot and choose the next best boot environment. Once PFSense Plus has successfully reached the end of the startup procedure, this temporary boot environment is marked as verified and permanently activated, thus making it the true next boot environment moving forward. However, if the system fails to start, the system falls back to the previous functional boot environment. Now let's take a look at how this all works in real time. Here you can see two boot environments. One is a good boot environment and the other is a bad boot environment. Now both boot environments are nearly identical, but the bad environment has a bug in the PFSense startup procedure that renders it non-functional. So let's watch as the system attempts to boot into this bad boot environment. The system has detected the boot failure and notifies the administrator with a summary of the failed boot environment and the boot environment it will try next. Now the administrator also has the option to break into a recovery shell if they're interested in manually overriding this selection process or analyzing the reason for the failure. After 60 seconds, with no user interaction, the system will automatically reboot and try the next boot environment. Additionally, you can expedite this process by pressing any key to reboot the system immediately. Now that the system has booted back into the good boot environment, let's log in and take a look at the boot environment's interface in PFSense Plus. You can see that we're back into the good boot environment and everything seems to be functioning as it should. However, the bad boot environment has been marked that it has failed boot verification and can now be deleted. Keeping all of this in mind, there are a few best practices to consider when using ZFS boot environments in PFSense Plus. Administrators that are managing PFSense Plus systems should have several viable backup boot environments for the system to fall back to in the event of boot failure. You can think of this as like an insurance policy to keep your system safe, up, and running even when failures do occur. It is now possible to lock specific boot environments, protecting them from accidental deletion. If the administrator chooses to opt into this feature, it provides an easy way to maintain the system's boot environments without the anxiety of potentially losing a functional preferred environment due to accidental deletion. Other improvements have also been added to PFSense Plus software version 2403. To start, configuration history can now be compared, restored, and downloaded from offline boot environments without the need to boot into a different boot environment completely. In previous versions of PFSense Plus, configuration files could only be accessed from the current environment. This new capability increases visibility and insight into different configurations. And finally, administrators are now able to batch delete boot environments and configuration files. So gone are the days of tedious individual clicks to clear out old data, saving admin time and headache. Well, that about covers it for this deep dive into ZFS boot environments in PFSense Plus software version 2403. Now you can rest assured knowing that your network is secure while having the flexibility to create and manage multiple boot environments. If PFSense Plus sounds like the right fit for your networking security needs, make sure to check out the link in the video description to learn more. You can also reach out to our sales team directly at sales at netgate.com if you'd like a more human experience. The pricing for PFSense Plus starts at just $129 per year for white boxes and one cent per hour in the cloud. PFSense Plus is also included with the purchase of NetGate appliances, starting with the NetGate 1100, which costs $189. There are no hidden fees for throughput, seat, or connection capacity. You get the complete system at sticker price. As for support, our world-class Technical Assistance Center, or TAC, is here to help should any issues arise. NetGate takes customer service very seriously and fully staffs TAC 24-7, 365, rain or shine, holidays included. Thanks for tuning in with me today to learn more about the new ZFS boot environments capabilities coming in PFSense Plus version 2403. Make sure to like and subscribe for more news, updates, and guides from NetGate. I'm Christian, and I'll see you next time.